fresh face, you know, looking a lot better. Hey everyone, this is Patrick, and I am here with Dragon Ball Super episode 124. Now, for those who are wondering, Dragon Ball Super, well, in case if people have forgotten, excuse me, in case if people haven't are not aware, Dragon Ball Super will be ending on 131 episodes. I also might get an episode out of episode 47, I believe that's the episode, or is it 48? Not understand sure. I might be able to watch the English dub version of the, of the Goku Black arc, but at the time being, we will focus on this. Now, this episode was, this episode was the newest episode in Dragon Ball Super, where we saw Gohan, where we saw Gohan and other and others continue their battles. So, let's talk. So let's talk about it. We start off the episode with Goku and Vegeta again continuing their fights, continuing the, continuing their fight. And they're continuing to, they are continuing their fight, and it looks like, well, obviously they're going to be continuing their fight, but it looks like no matter how hard they try, they just can, they just cannot seem to figure out a way on how to win. They just. Haven't seemed to figure figure that part out, but that's what we know so far. That's what we know so far on Jiren's end. But they did a Kamehameha and a Final Flash, and not even that was enough to take down Jiren. But now let's turn the attention to Frieza and Dispo. This is where the episode really kicked in. Um, Dispo and Frieza had their long fight. That has been going on for about two episodes, I think. Not long. It hasn't, it hasn't been a really long fight. But Dispo thinks he is Berta because he calls himself the Super Speed Warrior of the Pride Troopers. It's like he's the Berta of the Pride Troopers, in case if people aren't sure who Berta is. Berta was the self proclaimed fastest warrior in the universe in Universe 7. For the Ginyu Force, that was the same group that worked with Frieza. So, so I'm actually surprised um, that, that, that uh, Frieza never made a Berta reference. But, but yes, this fight just this fight was pretty cool and how and how it was for what it was, and the animation looked pretty cool, you know, and Dispo obtaining his maximum speed. But I think one of the uh, major highlights is that um, you know that Dispo did like a uh, a galactic no no that's not what it's called yeah galactic donut yeah I thought it was said called galactic one of Gotenks' moves the galactic donut and Frieza grabbed him by the tail after after the uh, attack finished and Frieza then goes on and makes a bargain. With uh, Dispo, but Dispo doesn't take this too lightly. He actually doesn't fall for it. He doesn't fall for it. Basically, Freezer's bargain is that um, he tells him that, oh, by the way, if I knock, even if you knock me off right now, you still won't be. You still might not be able to win. So why don't you resurrect me with the Super Dragon Balls, and I will gladly work work for Universe Eleven. But Dispo sees right through this and declines. So Frieza decides to go Golden. And then it looked like Golden Frieza has the upper hand at this point in time. But then eventually, but then eventually Dispo be, makes, makes a comeback. And it looks like that he's about to get knocked off. 
But then Gohan arrives to save Frieza. And Frieza and Frieza's sarcasm, man. Frieza's sarcasm is so funny. When Gohan saves him, he's like, Oh, Gohan, I am so grateful that you saved me. Are you here to help me? And then Gohan's like, then Gohan goes ahead and says, We are Universe 7 allies. And then Frieza with his hand across his chest is like, I can still always betray you at any time, you know. I could betray you for real this time. And, it, and, then, and then Gohan's like, If you do that, I'll knock you off. That was a pretty good. That was a pretty good um, interaction. That um, Fraser, Fraser was like, "Good, I can betray you. I could betray you." And if you're really, and if you're reason why I'm doing that voice, is because that's his English dub voice. Because he's like, "Ooh, ooh, go to hide. I could betray you at some point. Like, I could betray you right now. I could betray you for real." And then, and then Gohan's like, "If you do that, I'll knock you off." And then Frieza just smiles, then Frieza just smiles, and he's just like, Do you want to work together with me? If I don't mind working with you, but as long as you don't get in my way. You know, you know, Frieza's just so cool. You know, even though Frieza's a bad guy, but it's still pretty damn funny. But, 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 you, but you want to know what else is funny? The other, the funny thing is, is that throughout the entire Tone of the Power, is that they've always portrayed Goku as a bad guy, and 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 Dispo can considers Frieza a bad guy, which Frieza is a bad guy. He's evil, and and and, and then Dispo is like, I don't help people that are evil, and then and then Frieza's like, evil am I? Like <laughs> it's just hilarious. It's like it's like it's like Frieza's just saying, oh, I'm evil. Uh, I'm dead. I mean, I want to come back to life, you know. Like it's, it's like it's like Freezer's hiding the fact that he really is a bad guy to Dispo. It's like Freezer's like it's like it's like Freezer's. It's like it w it would be funny. What would have been funny in that scene where Dispo said that um I don't trust people that are evil. Freezer should should have just made up a lie saying, "Ooh, I've saved the world a couple of times. I'm no bad guy." I'm a good guy, you know? It would be pretty funny if he actually made a lie like that. But, but no, but no. But it was funny that he said, I'm evil, am I, to Dispo. That was pretty funny. Um, yeah, but the interaction with Gohan and Frieza was pretty funny. You know, you know, Frieza is so good at being a smartass. He's so good at being a smartass. It's just cool how he's a smartass. So... It's just being sarcastic and all that stuff, but you know, Gohan and Frieza are both working together, and 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 then um, they, and 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 then Frieza's calling him a nimble bastard that just likes to move around. Oh, sorry, I should do that better. Such a nimble bastard that all these moves around, that he, all he's good at is running away, which is pretty funny because that's all he's good at is running away. And then Gohan comes up with an idea saying, "I'll lure him in." And you do some kind of cool technique to, to trap him. So, so Frieza uses he. So I never knew Frieza was capable of doing something like that. Like Frieza just puts his fingers out, and then does like these death beams everywhere, or just like beams, and then traps the entire area, and then and then Dispo can't run away anymore. I never thought Frieza was capable of that. I never thought Frieza was capable of doing that. It's pretty cool that. Someone as evil as Frieza can be capable of doing something like that. So, so Gohan and Fri so Gohan and Dispo continue to fight, and then eventually, as the fight progresses, Frieza is starting to get a little aggravated because he's starting to say like, "Well, what's taking you so long? It shouldn't be that hard. To, your job is to knock him off." Because Frieza's like running out of stamina because he can't keep in position for for a long time, and then um and then eventually. Gohan looked like he was about to get the final blow on him, and then and then Frieza, you know, loses all of his stamina. He puts his fingers down. He he loses um he 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 ran out of stamina to to keep the barrier to keep the cage up. But then but then just was like, oh, now I can run around. But as he powered up, Gohan grabbed like he was like he was doing some kind of wrestling hold. Like he grabs him like he's doing like a wrestling hold on him, and then he yells, Frieza! And then, and then and then Frieza just gets up and then and then he just 
blasts and Frieza blasts Dispo and Gohan. So Gohan sacrifices himself to eliminate Dispo. I must say this episode was pretty interesting. It was actually pretty good. It was pretty good for what it was. And I must say, I will give this episode a good a good thumbs up. I thought this was really good. Some people didn't like it because, you know, it, it was titled based on Gohan. That they, it was based titled on Gohan. But the thing is, is that people were making a complaint saying that that when they heard the title this was gonna be about Gohan, they were thinking they weren't gonna they weren't gonna do a lot of the, the Goku Vegeta stuff. But Goku and Vegeta got the first about the first few minutes of the uh, of the start, and then folks, and then the rest was focused on Frieza and Dispo and Gohan. So, so I don't know what people are complaining about there. I'm guessing people are kind of complaining about Gohan, you know, getting eliminated. Honestly, I can see why people are upset with Gohan being eliminated. You know, Gohan could have had a rage boost, or maybe like if someone you know was beating him down and he was thinking about Pan and Videl, maybe you know, I could see I could see why people are upset. With uh, Gohan being eliminated, but am I upset about Gohan being eliminated? You know, maybe I, I I sort of am, just a bit. I sort of am a bit, but at the same time, though, I thought it it made a lot of sense. Well, I don't think it made a lot of sense, but I thought it made decent enough sense. Like Gohan sacrificing himself to 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 help Freezer and also to eliminate Dispo. You know, even though Frieza is a bad guy, and the weird thing about all this is that Gohan, he's known Frieza since he was a kid, and this is the thing that I think that kind of confuses a lot of people, and it even confuses me a little bit, but Gohan isn't the type to question Goku's authority, you know, you know, like, you know, like when they first came up with the idea of having Frieza, when Goku first came up with the idea of having Frieza as, a, as, as the 10th member. Everybody else was kind of, everybody else was against it, but Gohan didn't seem to care. Gohan didn't seem to care that Goku wanted Frieza. And he didn't really care that Frieza was on Universe, Universe 7's team. So, it pretty much shows you that Gohan kind of accepts Goku's judgment a lot. Like, even someone like Frieza, and and that's the and that's the weird thing about it is that that's the and that's the really weird thing about it is that Gohan has known Frieza since he was about five or six years old when he was just a little boy on Namek, and and, and and also and also when he came back and almost tried to kill Gohan in Super in season two, the early stages of the uh, resurrection of F retelling. And like Gohan's known Frieza for a long time, and, and 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 here's Gohan, working with the same guy that has nearly threatened to kill him on more than one occasion, and 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 you and, and it really shows. It really shows that Gohan, even though he's had some issues with Frieza, he's willing to put his issues aside to work with his teammates, and. This is the thing that I think a lot of people see, seem to bypass. Is that people wonder why would Frieza ever want to work with them. But the universe is at stake here. And I think even Gohan knows if he doesn't work with Frieza. He knows that Frieza could betray them. But that's the thing. Like Frieza can do whatever he wants. Which is basically his character. He will do whatever he wants. But with Dragon Ball Super ending... With Dragon Ball Super ending, I, I wonder what is going to happen with Frieza. Is Frieza going to get his wish? Is Frieza really going to get what he wants? And that is to be resurrected? Is Gohan going to... Is Gohan and Goku really going to be that forgiving? And they're going to give Frieza what he wants? That's... I, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure about that. But at the same time, I'm thinking he might get what he wants. But at the same time, I'm thinking Frieza may not get what he wants. But some people might say, no matter how useful he is in the Tournament of Power, he shouldn't really get what he wants. I could see, I could see that being the point, because then that will completely redcon the entire Dragon Ball Z ending. 
But honestly, though, it's kind of hard to tell whether they are going to go to the same Dragon Ball Z ending. But, but yeah, I yeah, but yeah, I found that really convenient about how people sometimes think like, why is Gohan working with Frieza? I mean, like, it shows you that he's willing to put his issues with Frieza aside, so in that way, he can, you know. So yeah, that that's my basic thoughts on that. I was okay with um, Frieza and Gohan working together. It shows you it it, it show it shows you Gohan is willing to work w w work with a anyone. So does that potentially mean like if Perfect Cell was in the Tournament of Power, would that mean Gohan would be able to work with Perfect Cell? Well, that would actually that one would actually be pretty interesting. That is actually something I would like to see, like. The, the, like the one guy that killed go the one guy that Gohan killed working with him I, I I think the only reason why Gohan is able to work with Frieza is because I think he can tolerate Frieza like if go like if Goku can tolerate Frieza I, I guess then I guess even Gohan will tolerate him but because it's like I said Gohan's not the type of guy to ju to judge his father's judgment or judge his authority so Gohan's just gonna run with it no matter if it's a good idea or if it's a bad idea but anyway guys that has been the end of this little review and i had a little quick just you know, talk, had, uh, had a bit of a talk as well hope you guys enjoyed this uh this review and hopefully i catch up on the uh, goku black english dub because i'm actually really looking forward to watching that as well i'm not going to review it episode by episode i've now made the idea that I'm going to watch the entire arc in the English dub and then once the entire arc has finished, that's when I'm going to review it. I'm going to be reviewing it when it's complete. So that's when I'm going to be reviewing the Goku Black arc in the English dub. Or may And, and maybe if Dragon Ball Super ends while it's still going, then maybe I might do some episodes of it then. But Anyway, guys, that has been my Dragon Ball Super review. I hope you all enjoyed. Comment down below your thoughts. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you are new as well. And and also hit the bell. Hit 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 the bell as well, so that way you'll be notified uh, when I post up my next video. Thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.